Hey, Everyday Faith family. My name is Stephanie Kenyon. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today for another theme um, as we journey along together and do day 29 um, for the month of harmony. I have really loved this month and got a lot out of it. And I hope each and every one of you do too and are finding ways to be more harmonious in your day-to-day -day, everyday life um, with your friends, your family, at work, and especially in your walk with Jesus. So I'm going to read it to you. It says, when it comes to defining a perfect perfectly balanced and exceptional life, your opinion is the only one that matters. One more time. When it comes to defining a perfectly balanced and exceptional life, your opinion is the only one that matters. And it's by Dave Braun, I think is how you say his last name. And he's the best-selling author and co-founder of Ulu for Women. I really like that book. I'm not sure if I got it through Faithbox, but I know I got it from a, a box before in the past. It's really good. So I say, check it out. I know first and foremost, our identity and what people say or think shouldn't matter compared to what the Lord says about us, because he calls us good and he loves us. We are cherished and adored by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. His thoughts and what he thinks about us and his unconditional love comes before anybody else's first and foremost. But next, after that, what we think and say about ourselves matters next compared to what others think, say, and their opinions and thoughts and ill feelings, good feelings, whatever that may be. Next is what we personally think and feel about ourselves, because I believe that has an effect to steer you in the right direction or steer you in the wrong direct, right or wrong direction, depending on how you truly view and see yourself. And I know that my views and how I've seen myself and the thoughts that I've always thought about myself haven't always been good and grand and have kept me stuck and accomplishing so many things that God had in store for me in my life because of getting in my own way.